Oh, Jared, 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 what's happened? Mr. Kelnick, once the crown jewel of the Mariners farm system before Julio Rodriguez made his ascent, a man the Mariners were able to steal, I tell you steal, from the New York Mets a couple of years ago, a former first round pick, a former top 10 first round pick in the major league draft. Kelnick had a very sudden, quick rise to the minor leagues. In just a mere two seasons, he saw his home run numbers jump from 6 to 24, his batting average jump, and indeed, when he's gotten into AAA, he's had his way of it there in Tacoma as well. But then, Jared gets to the major league roster as he did last year, or as he has this year, and he just comes to a sudden halt. The major league pitching is much different than AA or AAA. And now more than ever, I think, now more than any time in the last 30 years, the, the level of talent at AAA as far as the pitching goes versus the level of talent at the major league level has really separated for whatever reason. I don't have a good explanation for it. It's just my general feeling on this. And when you look at him, I think he's really struggling with this, with, you know, the off speed, the, the um, sliders curve stuff that's got some movement to it. He can hit a fastball. He can hit a fastball all day long, but he gets locked and loaded for that fastball and the, the off-speed change stuff, it's going to give him some problems then, and he's got to find a way to lock into it. It a little bit reminds me of the Major League Baseball movie. You guys remember that movie with Tom Berenger and Sheen? And there is a player in that movie who's got a lot of power, prodigious power. They call him Serrano. And Serrano goes out there at the first uh, practice, and the coach comes over to take a look at him. And he says, okay, throw him some pitches. And the practice uh, and the pitcher on the mound throws him a couple of pitches. And Serrano, continue, uh, swing after swing, just buries the ball way out over the fence, clear out of the stadium, over and over again. Head coach goes, gosh, why wasn't this guy in a major league roster? That's amazing power. And he goes, okay, start trying to throw him some curves. Throw him some curves. Pitcher throws him a couple of curves. He can't hit him for his life. This reminds me of Kelnick a little bit like that. It's almost a little bit like that kind of meme. But with that said, it's something that you can solve. There is a rich history of very talented major league players who could tear the cover off of a fastball, who couldn't quite figure out out the gate of how to hit a curveball or hit slider, hit stuff with movement. And the movement now is as nasty as it's ever been. These pitchers throw with velocity, and it's got late movement, and it's got um, a high rate of late movement at that. Those things didn't used to go together. You used to be able to have a guy, if he's going to have movement, at least there was a little bit he's going to have to take off the pitch to get that. Players and the pitchers don't have to achieve that any longer. And Kelnick just has to find a way to solve that where he can lock in on those pitches to a degree, then not become vulnerable to the fastball, so where he's just one track minded onto something else and just creates another problem with this, you know, sort of plugging the holes in the dike and plug one hole, another hole opens, and you plug that hole and that, open, that other hole reopens back up. But it is possible to be done, and I still have faith. As spoken about before, the kid only had a couple of years in minor league baseball. And while... His average has not been good at the major league level, 181 last year, 140 this year, a little worse this year, which is, again, part of why it has many people kind of down on him. The power has been there at least a little bit. There are the flashes and signs of it in this kid. 14 home runs last year on only 337 at-bats, um, which is, isn't amazing, but again, for a rookie year, is, is encouraging. Is what you would like to see. Now, this year, it's... Uh, Maybe not as much so far with three home runs, two doubles. It started to go down even a little bit more for him here this year. It just you you want to see the uh, another step forward this year. You want to see from 181 maybe to 235, and the power still being there. We're not seeing it quite yet, but it doesn't mean we won't get there. With only two years in the minors, with only a collective 423 at bats here at the major league level, being still only a 22 year old guy. Have some patience. I think he will still come around. That's still a beautiful swing that he has. And if he can just find a way to lock it in, it takes time for certain guys. We've got another bat added to this lineup. And if you got Rodriguez and Lewis and this kid coming in as your, your main front three with Crawford on the front of that stack, setting the table, setting the table, you got yourself one hell of an exciting lineup. So have some faith here on Kelnick. He might just come around and surprise you.